Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks for coming over today. I appreciate it. Today is the flip through of the All Mass for No Reason glue book that I started. Oh, I started this two to three years ago now and I had started it. Um, it was Shannon Green that inspired me to, to start one. I received this magazine from my mom's and it is an architectural digest magazine and it was uh she had it from 2006 and the reason i chose this magazine was i loved the thickness of the pages um they're very glossy but they're very sturdy and i thought you know this would be a good size and i actually did not take any pages out but I did glue some together. I added a couple extra categories in here, but then I had too many left over, so I glued them together. And this is the, I'm holding it up with a little book because it's so curved. Um, I'll give you, try to give you a perspective here of the, uh, the curvature. It's quite round. When I started this en masse glue book, I had printed out the categories and then I added some of my own categories to it. Now I'm using, I'll just show this to you. This is a scarf, my mom's old scarf that I've been harvesting from and putting in other projects and I just made a tube out of it to a length so that I could tie it around here. And you can see how much it's expanded. There, It's loaded with all kinds of different textures. It's a, it's, it's more than a glue book. It's a, an actual mixed media. It's an everything book. And the cover here, I just started putting things together. I did some of its scraps. It's magazine. It's going to be like that throughout the whole um, book. It's paint and it's all gesso. So, so there's all kinds of things going on. I did nothing to the spine. And I have some bread tabs. <laughs> Pardon if there's a glare. I have no choice today because it's very cloudy. So my first page is the on mass collection journal categories that I have. I as I finished each page, I started highlighting just to keep myself in on track. And then all I did around here was I used some paint, some pastels, some just some markers and different things. I just wanted it to be kind of free and um some of some of these paints, most of these paints too are scraped off from other projects that I have been doing. And so we'll start with the A's. You could just do the letter A, and I chose to do the letters and the words and objects and things that begin with the letter A. Also names, nothing was off limits as far as I was concerned. And so this is just a collection here of the letter A. Second category was circles. The other thing I chose to do was I chose two pages for each category. You could do one side, like one page, but I did it. And then every once in a while, I decided to put a scrap uh, tab on the side or at the top. Again, using staples, glue, sewing, whatever. So this was circles. Hopefully that's okay. This page here was finger painting. And then I did some journaling too. So I used some of these... Um, this was mostly with neon, really cheap neon colors, and they were they looked really great when they were wet, and then as they dried, they dulled down, but I still like it. I also have reinforced some of parts of the spine that were starting to pull up, pull away. We're in the B section. Oh, and I just made this with some scraps, my little bookmark, so I put it in the B section because I had it lying around. And uh, so that actually brings me to another little tip, if I can find. What this journal also has is some of my ideas that I've tried and things that I've tried on my own and, and things that I've tried and been inspired by others. And it's in here for now. And this is the red page. And some of them I have. So here I put uh, red. <laughs> and that's... This is my tea bag and coffee filters page. 
pages. I'll, I'll say page, but I'm referring to the spread. And then what I did here was I took the bag and I made, again, out all scraps and I just did some journaling on my little tags. So we have journaling spots here too. And the textures are glorious. None of these pages were done in one sitting. I would collect things and I would put it in and I collect some more and put it in. And I do have a, a playlist so I can link that below too so you can see some progress made. This is the C category. A lot of these magazines are ones from the mail and old decorating magazines. So this is C, then we come over here, this is the animal section. And some of them are little stamps and from children's encyclopedia, just some die cuts, just all kinds of different things that I collected. And that's fun. And I'm doing this full flip through with you, so some of these I have not looked at for a long time. This was my paper dolls section. Oh, and I love it. I, I just, I really learned a lot about putting these together and they're just so fun. Quirky and uh, none of them are serious, of course. This is my own, my own um, girl that I drew and I took her, I printed her off and I added glasses and put her in a new outfit. So I did my own paper dolls, my own creations. This is the D section. Again, lots of textures, lots of fun things. Oh yeah. This is the tag section. And so here they're all just tags off of clothing. I I asked for contributions of our family members and um, some of them are glued down. Well, most of them are glued down. And I have just and I have tags from Happy Mail that I put in here. This is from Colleen, a, a recent Happy Mail. Just things that came came across my desk. This is my heart, my own category, my heart category. I love hearts. Have lots of cutouts, just different ways of doing hearts. I actually put in my own little drawings and places where I just felt it was enough and this is the E section and I actually used little just all kinds of things with E I made my own little envelope and I took my stamp and you know so some of these I, sp I spent more time playing with and creating like I made this envelope when you open it up and it's got a picture of a lady exercising and and then I used my stamps so that was fun they're all fun we have the orange section that was really cool too some things that I collected when we were staying with our babysitting our chill our grandchildren at different times both sets of grandchildren that was fun. That's the orange section. It's really fun. And then we have the yarns and fibers. And you could do anything. I did pictures of yarn and fibers um, from magazines. I did some real yarns and fibers. Um, I even used fabric as fibers because we can see the weave. And, you know, it's whatever your interpretation is. Yeah, that's a good one. Little scraps of thread scraps and cutoffs of used fibers in my stash even a paper towel that's that's a fiber wood is fiber and here we have the f section magazine and packaging and everything we have um, pieces of digital prints and pieces of my own art that I took apart and it became a fish. I have a video on that one. This is the stamp section and a postage stamps, I should say. So this is postage stamps. And wow, what did I get lucky on this one? Because my brother had given me 
a huge baggie of stamps. And I just decided to put them in one day. I just picked one out of the out of the closet and put them down. But I also have postage stamps that were, uh, you know, in, in our mail that comes to us. From... Made a little star tab here. So this is part of the categories. And all kinds of stars. I made my own. I have some foam. I added some... I didn't just stick things down where I could have, but I just really wanted to add with my markers and my sparkles and just just doodle and have fun. These were real fun exercises for me at night. This is the G section. And, and I also had a food and drink magazine, text and images and things that provided me with the letters that I needed. This is my business card section. Just recently did a video on this too because I made some of my own business cards, but a lot of these were ones that I had here. And I made my own. This is the birds section, which is one of my own categories. I love birds. Some art from Anna. She did this. This is when I stayed with, uh, with Clark and Anna to, to babysit them. And so this is the bird section. I just love it. H. Just using stamps that I have. And this is the yellow section. Yellow tab, yellow ribbon, again cutoffs, yellow, little yellow bits of fabric and Here's a yellow government um, memo pad, and I wrote uh, something to my mom because this was from her office, and this is great. And this is the zipper section. <laughs> I have a lot of zippers. Uh, you know, I use some of the tags from the zippers. I could have filled up the whole page, but I had to give myself a bit of... This is what really made the pages go crazy. And then every time I open or flip the page, the zipper pops up, so I get a bump. And these are all just fun little zippers. These were used when I was a child. Tara, my, our daughter, used these and made pencil cases. I still have a ton left. Um, Mom bought these from a local where we used to, where I grew up, a local seamstress that went out of business. So we just bought a few things. <laughs> So now we are into the eyes. This was a tough one. Some letters are harder to come by, that's for sure. So I got a little creative. I did some collaging here. But this is ice. This is an actual nature magazine that had ice. So I broke that down and put, there's an ice cream cone. This is Indigenous Art, National Indigenous People's Day. So I took that. That was fun. Oh, and this is this is a ball, but it's an inflatable ball, so I put that there. And that's how I got to use up a lot of room. And I didn't do anything with the blank section. Some of my pages I did, but not here. Feather section. Feathers. Well, I, I used some of my own crayon um, fun play that I did, and I cut it out and made some feathers. Feather. Here's another one that I made. I did... Um, some feathers that I found on our property from our Blue Jays, so I put those on. I have just different, you know, from the decorating magazine. And uh, and here's some feathers from a napkin that I received in Happy Mail. So I put that down. That was just the perfect spot. And this is where I used some of my markers and just wanted to create a little bit of a, a background for the feathers to pop. And I have no particular reason why I chose the certain colors that I have in here. So that was fun. Now, this is my texture rubbings section. Well, I believe I have a, a video on this. I'm not sure, but this was so fun. Oh, yeah, this was my toothpaste up here. And I wrote some stuff down about what I did. I made a tab did some crayon. I did the crayon texture rubbings. Oh, this was so fun. And I took a photocopy of my, that's what a lot of these are, is a photocopy of my, of my page. 
and then I just broke it up and made circles and and we're in the J's now here I so this color here is actually called uh, juniper green. I, I did some things that were significant to me and they actually started with J's. This is the squares section. Started cutting my own little squares, found some squares in magazines. I used um, little pictures, little cutoffs that I loved from magazines. And this is not a square, but I used it anyway because <laughs> I like it. A little pink car. This here, I was going to do some journaling and I just didn't get to it, so that's okay. This was a crossword puzzle that had not been used, but I wanted to take it out. It had a little square, so I colored them in. Very colorful. This is my photos section. And I actually started off by taking photocopies of photos that I had taken. And this is just a photo that was in a magazine. Then I took some real photos because we went through some of our our doubles. And so this is me kayaking. This is my husband kayaking. This is me kayaking. Our Jeep, our daughter, and our our um, little, our latest granddaughter. And then the two pups. And this was right, right before they moved. So I took that. And this is the K section and a couple of business cards in here but it start with k this is kingfisher purple there's a little key that i found in my mom's stuff and i put that up there this is the washi tape section and all i did was i used my washi tape i don't have a lot of washi tape so i just went back and forth and this was in the magazine and I just did the washi tape around this wooden doll, a wooden figure, and um, and I used some of my, I made a, uh, a belly band or an, a page edger with my punched out cookie paper that I sewed together and that was fun. Used some hockey tape in there, oh, you can see it right there. And this is the die the punches and die cuts section and I had random die cuts I don't even know where I got them so I thought this would be a perfect place to use them I had all kinds of you know heart, heart punch out negatives and I just did that just fun fun L's the L's section Oh, there's that glare, isn't it? Let's see if I can lower the glare a bit. I'll just hold it up. Well, we have Mickey and Minnie, which would have been good under M, but I saw this as love, so that's why I put that there. My Avon lipstick file folder that I had. Loved it. This was the perfect spot for it. The other thing that I did was... I made a letter. I just did a, let me see here if I can. There's a label that I made, so I put that on as a little holder. There's my letter that I made, my envelope. And then I have some notes in here from a letter that I got online. And that was really fun. lace everything's there mix mixed up i even did a list <laughs> this page here was a free page this was a, a scrappy page i just wanted to do some collage with some bits and pieces that were left over and that's what i used for that and yeah so that's the green page is next all the fun green things <laughs> And what do we have going on there? Nice to look at again. This was the fabric 
scraps. So I did have a shirt that I could no longer wear. And so I took the logo off of it and I put it on here. And that's what actually started my scrap, scrappy fabric page. And other little pieces of scraps that I found and put on there. The M's, the M's, all kinds of fun things again. Oh, here's a scrap. <laughs> Just got found a way in there. Yeah, that was great. This is my receipt, store receipts page. Started gluing down different receipts that we received. I have had this receipt for a while. I had to get some work done on my wedding set. So this is in here. I had kept it and I thought, I'm going to put it there. And I remember where it is. My faces page. Oh, this was so fun to do. I actually could put a couple little, couple more tiny faces, but I'm calling this one finished. The last one I put in here was actually a photo of my brother and I. So I put that in there. I thought that was cute. That was fun. Yeah, this was a really fun page to do. Well, here's another little little scrappy do the ends I used um, this poem or this yeah the poem from Emily Dickinson called nature and again just a, here's a note I did I um, did some journaling on here yeah that was fun too this is the triangles section I colored in some of my own triangles when I couldn't fit any more in. I did all kinds of different triangles. I did some hidden journaling in there. Put a triangle tab. Scraps. This is the hardware and washer, the hardware washers and gears. Well, this was a tough one because I couldn't load it up with all kinds of washers. I wanted to, but that would be just, that, that wouldn't work. So I actually found this washer over here at, while we were um, at our son's place. I attached it with some thread. Later on, I found this random safety pin and this picture hanger. I don't know where it was. And I put it on here. Did I found some more hardware from my jewelry stuff and a key um, hardware pictures. I have this wire, this is household hardware, so put some wire, this, <laughs> I'm just laughing because I was laughing when I was putting it on, this random paper clip, and then two tiny nuts that were, again, just around, and so I just added it to the top as a little dangle, a little jewelry for the hardware section. Oh, and then I had a couple of watches that didn't work. They were in my mom's um, stuff. <laughs> and so I took them apart and I used the watch faces on here. A little extra jewelry. The O's. Now, again, I have a picture of my Oma and my Opa. So that's why they're in the O's and it's a wedding photo. I thought that was really fun and I have pictures you'll see throughout uh, I have this book that I got free at the library and it's the um, Downton Abbey book so I have pictures now the reason now this is O'Brien that's why she's in the O's and this lady here I forget what her name is but she's old so that's why I put her there so yeah and onions you know everything an Oreo everything this is a section called the Glitter and Sparkles. Oh yeah, that was fun. What got me started on this one were these Christmas cards from different friends. And they have sparkles, so that was a great spot for them. And I have, this was from a, a page I did. I don't remember which journal it was in, but I do have a video on it. So I took the rest of it and put it in here. And I did some... Just some things with sparkles in them. Rick Rack. Sparkle paint. Yeah, that was... That was really cool. 
This is the, this is my own section call. I called it the boots and shoes section. So all boots and shoes of all kinds, colors, fabric, rubber, leather, you know, old school. <laughs> oh, clown shoe. <laughs> so that was fun. The peas. So again, we have, and there's a piece of scrap that I had, and I just took it apart. Polka dots and princess. I made the little, this is a painter that has a parrot's head on it. I did that for fun. The patio, just, oh yeah. <laughs> and this is the security envelope section. Well, I just did, you know, I could have left it all plain, but I wanted to do some fun little, again, this was a session that I took and really played with these security envelopes. And I did a little bit of journaling on here too. I made a little flip out on this one. Did some punching and some coloring, painting, just for fun. This is my colored pencil section. And this section, just to explain, I this was before I got my mom's color um, coloring pencils from her place. And all I had was a few, um, I had a few aquarelle style pencils, which are in here. I also had some eye pencils. So this is, I just did a strip. I did some doodling and it's, um, a combination of those pencils and then on this page was a very faint photo I think it was anyway I found I just followed in with the pencil to do this um, family here going for a walk and I put the tree beside it and so that's how that evolved the cues and there's some quartz and the quirky thing. <laughs> I did some my own cues. I did some written cues and some printed cues, capital cues, a quilt. That took up a lot of the page because the cue is a hard one also to find. You know, there's a picture of the queen. I mean, I don't have, I didn't print anything off for this. This is all things that, the only thing I had printed off were pictures, but they were already printed off and I was using them in here. I really wanted to keep this um, true to scrapping and using what I have around me. So that's what this is. And magazines that I received for free or they were so old that like, I just don't have any use for them. And that's perfect for here. We are in the blue section. All things blue, different blues. Photos of mine. I made, this was a die, this was a... Uh, a die cut, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't even know where I got it with the other die cuts. And then I used this and I did some journaling on it for this blue, blue photo. And so you can just put it in here. But yeah, it just helps you to be creative. <laughs> the little, a little rule, a blue thing. This is the buttons section. Well, this one was amazing. I had so much fun. Once I started going, once I started playing, I have these uh, punched out buttons that I actually bought them from an Etsy. My first Etsy purchase, I believe, when I first started junk journaling. And I don't even know why I bought the buttons, but I bought a little baggie of buttons. It didn't cost much. Canadian Etsy person. Um, I couldn't tell you where I got them from. I had them for so long. Then it gave me the idea to take my, my little rounds. I have some left over from my kooky paper. And so I punched out circles, as you saw in the, um, the page edger. And I made buttons. And then I had some of these old button cards. And I left one of the buttons on. And then I have pictures of people with buttons. So that's why I have these photos. There's buttons. Again, my Downton Abbey gang. They have lots of nice, beautiful, big buttons. And I do have a couple of real buttons. <laughs> so, and then in the couch here, there's it's a tufted 
sofa with buttons. So that was so, and then this is my own button card that I made. And when I made my business cards, it gave me the inspiration to make my own button card. So I just used a scrap um, subscription card, painted over it, added the buttons, put $2, stylish inspiration, and then I just put a stamp way down here. That was really fun. So you can make your own button cards too. Okay, I'm going to switch up my little lift here. Try to do this. There we go. The R's. Yes, so of course we have lots of, we have raspberries, we have lots of botanical things like roses. This is fabric, but it's ribbed fabric, so that's why I put it in there for in there for R. Some old rings from my Hollywood magazine. All kinds of rainbows. Just fun things. This fun rabbit. It's hard to go back and remember. Some things are very clear. Some things I have had in here for a long time. Don't forget, this is over, this is like two over three years. Well, three year period. My laces. Laces and doilies. I did paper doilies. I did sections of real doilies. This is a beautiful uh, strip of laces that was on a package that was sent to me from Colleen. So this was, I used it on here. I knew exactly that I wanted it here for my lace. My paper graffiti lace that I made. I must make some more of that. Oh yeah, this was really, and then the word lace, a couple of words, so just fun, fun. I say that a lot, don't I? The song lyrics section. So this one here, I actually did print out some words um, because I thought I just didn't feel like writing them out, and that was okay. I have some music sheet here this is from peter paul and mary book that i had and it's um blown in the wind by bob dylan so i did that i wrote out some of my own words and then there's also um this was from a brochure from our one of our grandson's little play that they did in the the theme was it's a small world so here's the words it's a small world after all so and here's some of my favorite songs this is the S's. So fun, that movie Sing. I love it. I could watch it forever. Both of them are great. <laughs> With my favorite people. And uh, just fun. We have the candy and food wrappers. So this one was, again... Adorable and hilarious. So I have some beer and I made a little out of all the uh, the packaging. I made a flip that I wrote on. So I did some journaling on there. And I just got to lift that up. And then all the rest is packaging. And then this was a package from uh, lime, lime juice. So I took it off. I put a tassel on there for paper towel. And in the Smarties box it goes. This is a granola bar package. And I used that to make a tag and to do some journaling. Christmas candies. And this is the favorite quotes. And there, there are a plethora of quotes in here. I took some, I wrote them myself. There's some that I took from magazines. Um, some that I had in my little, my little words that I used in here. And there's some also that this was, this was in the Happy Mail that I received from Colleen. So I put that in there. And yeah, so that's the uh, the quote section. And then we come into the teas. We have Trixie, our cat, so she's in here. Tiles. Oh, I made it, I, and I I was I'm laughing out loud now because I remember when I made this page, I videoed 
I did a video on this one and I could not remember what this, um, this is an hourglass, but I put it in here because I used it as a timer. So, <laughs> and we have the pterodactyl. And so this was where I, I had taken a section of the, of the art that Miles made and then I had the rest left over and that's what I made the bookmark from. T-shirt. And in, now this section is the labels and stickers, sealed off labels. I had random stickers, leftover stickers that I wouldn't use in anything, but it was perfect for here. Wine bottle labels, little stickers on tomatoes and fruit and oh, just fun. That's a great collage to make. Shampoo. <laughs> oh, this was fun too. Once I got going, this is the woven paper strip section. And I did some, some journaling. And I used my leftover, uh, these strips of like little cardstock. I used the, some of my leftover pages of my um, seed catalog. And I just, I did a woven page over there. And then this was little tiny strips. And I just to the weaving here. I didn't go all the way to the top, but I thought I like it like this because it just leaves off some of the some of the ends. This is a great way to um, add texture and embellish a page. So, you know, you can definitely do a lot with this and this is a great idea. Again, lots of really good ideas in here that I'm going to refer and I do that with my other journals once in a while I'll pull out a journal and I'll say oh what can I be inspired by and I'll use my own things that I've made this is the purple section fabrics there's a part of that scarf from my mom's my graffiti receipts yeah that's good we are in the use so big pictures here. This is all about uniforms. So this is men in uniforms. And then this is also men in uniforms, but they're walking in unison. And I actually took some letters and did my own word unison. And then I just wrote uniform. And then just some umbrellas. Like use are hard to, uh, for me, hard to find. Because again, I only have, you can see these are from my gardening and <laughs> decorating magazines. But I like the way it came together. And this is the markers section. Well, that's what it is. I did some outlining of the photo that was already there. And this is actually a mirror. I think I got it mixed up with something else, but I put it on here and I wrote mirror, mirror on the wall with my marker. And, you know, just, yeah, just did some art. A little bit of, uh, what do you call doodling? V. We got vests and we've got verbena, vintage, we've got vermouth, we've got V's that I just, I did with marker and then just did some doodling with them. Vinyl, Victrola. This is the leaf, nature and leaves. So what I did here, well, nature pictures. I did some of my own doodles. I took some actual foliage from outside, piece of pine, and I just put it in this um, upcycled packaging and stapled it. Here's a piece of cedar, and here's some of our birch bark that flew, blew off the tree. So that's, that's actually what started it off right here. And then I thought, oh, I'm gonna forage and get a couple more things. Not not to put the whole pages all real. I didn't want to glue down real branches on, on everything. This book would never sustain it. We are in the... This is a free page. I had to think about that for a second. A free page, and it, I made it cakes. So <laughs> I did little cupcakes. And, you know, I've got... Uh, this here is a simple, a simple strawberry skillet cake. 
and all kinds. So that was that was fun to do. We are in the W section. This is wallpaper, wallpaper sample, so that's why I put that there. You know, wedding, wheels, wreath, lots of things. The rectangle section. So I did little tiny rectangles, so strips and just all kinds. Some things were already triangular shaped. Some of them I cut into triangles. And this is a collage. I call this my collage section too. I have a couple collage sections, so but that's what uh, scrappy collage. So it looks like nothing, but it was fun to put together. Okay, why are we sticking? There we go. Oh, this was fun. Once I once I knew what I was doing, you know, just getting there is is half the battle. And it's my Y and X section, and I did combine them together. So I looked for magazine images. I looked for letters and words. And then what I did was I, let me see if I can find it and show you. Um, I don't have it available. Oh, yes, I do. Well, I have this foam that I bought at, I didn't even buy it. It was... Um, I, it was like in an exchange store that I got. So I made a Y and then I started stamping. So you can see I stamped a Y here. I stamped a Y up here. Then I thought, well, like, and then I stamped a Y here with the, with the paint. These were with a stamp pad and this is with paint. So then I thought, okay, I got to do some X's. I took, I made a, I just made an X on a piece of cardstock that I was throwing away or that was garbage. And then I used it as a stencil and I just went in with my texture paste and put the X's down. And then I just used some marker and water and added color. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It's just fun. And there they are, X's and Y's. This is the flower section. This is the crayons. So we had pencil crayons earlier, we had markers, and now we're into crayons. And I used a lot of my texture rubbings. I did a lot of those and I had leftover pieces, so I used those because that was made with crayons. This was colored in with crayons, my neuro, neuro graphic art. We are in the beads section that is tough especially since i don't have any fashion magazines so these were just advertisements from you know anything that i have here i have some knitting magazines that i they did some beading so i took that these beads were on the ladies at uh, downton abbey that was my beads This is my make a list section. So I do make lists and I started keeping them once I knew that um, when I was doing this. And so that's what it is. I just made lists. I, I did some lists right on the, on the page. Some of them were lists that I took with me. And it was on this page that was the, there was an article and it was called Between the Lines. And I thought how appropriate how appropriate is that? And I used some of my little tabs here. This is another collage section, so I do have many, because that's what I did with some of my free, um, my free areas, free pages, and I had lots of things to collage, so that's why I did that. And I put any chance to collage, which is true. I love to collage. I just love to throw it down on the page and use it up. Make your own art. <laughs> this is the envelope, security envelope window section. So security envelopes, but I use the windows. 
And I went a little bit further. I could have just put the windows down, but I wanted to do some interactive art. So I took some of my, I use that as a journaling card. There's a bird, so I put him in here. And then I added another, another thing, another image. And I did some collaging on, or not collaging, journaling. Put that in there, it's a pen. And then I did, so this page here had lots of windows on it. So I put window envelopes on top of windows and I put, you know, look in, outlook, I see you, seeing is believing, just things about looking and seeing and just my own little crazy stuff. This is a window envelope and I put these picket fences that I had cut out of a gardening book just to put in there. There's a bike in here and then I can put something in here if I wanted to to uh, journal pink pink section one of my favorite colors well it is my favorite color <laughs> this is the bugs this is the bug section and this was my own free page Again, using up newspaper, and there's a beautiful little bug that was visiting one day here on, on the desk. Put that picture in there. Another bug that visited our porch, and I did this, I printed it on a, on a piece of page that was going to go to the recycling bin. But there's the Luna moth, and I took a pic, I did a print out of that. So that's my, my bugs section. This section here is, this is a free section that I wanted to use. So um, it is cutoffs and just different things. I made these pockets. These pockets were inspired by Helen over at Moss Cottage. So I did these pockets with some book page and I put them in here. I thought they were a fun experiment. Here's one that I made and I just took some of the off cut and made a ruffle, made a ruffle there. So it's a pocket here. Put that there. This is just some berry dyed gar um, junk mail. I just made a card with it. Some scrappy ideas, that's what I put on there. Just playing around. And down here I made a, I had a hanger from a magazine, so I cut that out. And I made just a scrap piece of paper, I folded it and just made a little pocket. And put the hanger and I just put hanging in the garden. <laughs> kind of obvious. This I made one day just playing around when we were visiting our one of our children. I had these pieces of paper, I have to show you this. And I thought, I, I didn't even cut it, like I left it intact. So I started folding. And so this folds out like this, and I started journaling. So that's all it is, it's just a folded, it's just a folded piece of paper that goes like this. And then I put the penny on this piece of scrap to hold it down. Because it was popping up and I, and I just, yeah, did that. We're in the Z. I did a zigzag stenciling <laughs> and then used some a zoo page. And this is my last free page that I did. Did some journaling, just did some fun collage. Fun collage on here, again, with some leftovers. That was the end of it. And the back of my page is only, I did some die cutting. I have this die and I just wanted to try it. And I had the, um, the mask left, the negative. So I put it on here. And this is it. I 
had so much fun putting this together. It was, I can honestly say, a labor of love. I think you can agree when you make your scrappy journals, you know, any journal, they are just so fun. And then I can use this scrappy leftover piece of scarf. And there it is. Well, I hope you have some ideas and try this on your own. It don't have to do a full magazine. Make up your own categories. And I'm really grateful that you came along for this little tour. Thanks for... Thank you for all the inspiration and the great comments. And um, if you want to do your own, it can be any size of magazine, any kind of journal. doesn't have to be a magazine. You can do anything. And the whole point is just to let loose and use your, you know, your items. Like you can just be as free as you want. There are no rules. It just evolves and, and how it, how it just becomes a beautiful labor of love. Lots of memories in there too. So there, you know, it's great. Anyway, I could go on, but thank you. Stay adventurous and stay fresh. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, everyone.